Thomas Rogers. I'm currently risk and compliance consultant here in Sydney. Initially joined in London as an associate consultant on the risk management desk. So I joined Morgan McKinley in September 2014 as an associate consultant on the risk management desk. Uh, from there, around right about six months afterwards, I got promoted to consultant. Uh, where well, I obviously stayed on the risk management desk and worked as a consultant there before um, making the move over to the Sydney office to join on the risk and compliance desk, focusing more on the contract recruitment space as a risk and compliance consultant. Uh, for me, it was more of a lifestyle piece. Um, I've always been quite sporty and outdoors. Uh, and I've always liked that side of life. Um, I don't get me wrong, I absolutely love London, I was born and raised there, but it gets a bit like samey with the community, etc. So having to live, uh, live further out to get that more outdoors lifestyle, you're then stuck on a, uh, a packed train, which I'm sure most people in the office can relate to over in London, which is usually delayed as well. Um, my brother actually moved out to Sydney 12 years ago, and when I come and visit him, I'd always considered making the move, but never really actioned it. And then once I uh, was with my other half for a while, we'd actually discussed obviously the future plans. We were saving for a house in London and then looked at places we could live, but decided actually that the lifestyle we want, Sydney could offer that. So we started to look at making the move over to Sydney. So after deciding with my half that we was going to make the move, I uh, decided to sit down with my manager at the time, uh, Chapel Deepan, who's still over there. Um, he heads up the uh, risk management desk in London. So I called up with Deepan and discussed obviously my reason as to why I wanted to go over to Sydney and the motivations behind it. Uh, the, the team and the management were all very supportive and basically said, look, if you're going to go over that part of the world, rather, uh, why don't you have a look at opportunities in the Sydney office? I know that they need people with your, set, your background, your skill sets. So then obviously I know the management team and the UK HR team started to get the ball rolling. They reached out to people in Sydney and put me in touch with a couple of people. Um, initially it was Kirsten who uh, put me in touch with Dom and Sophie. Uh, Sophie seems to be managing the risk management and compliance desk out here and Dominic is the associate director for cancer finance and risk and compliance. They tell me about the opportunity out here and what they're looking to do, their vision and obviously how I might piece into that. So I had a discussion with them, decided it was a good fit. Got the opportunity to speak to Vanessa and Louise as well. Um, got a really good vibe and thought, okay, yeah, let's do this. So from there, obviously, Kirsty assisted me with everything I needed to move over. Uh, yeah, they've been pretty close actually. So I actually live in Man now, which is great. It's a beach town. I live bang in the centre in a lovely unit, which is an apartment to my English colleagues. Um, yeah, I literally live more or less on the beach. I get the ferry to work as opposed to, which has always got loads of room, and so I always get a seat and I'm not rammed in there. Um, as opposed to obviously getting a delayed train from London. Uh, yeah, it's a much better lifestyle, I would say, in, from terms of obviously the commute aspect as well and a working environment, being a smaller office as well. It's a lot easier obviously to know everybody in the office and a lot easier to understand best practice etc. So I can pick up a lot of stuff quickly. Um, obviously personally and professionally, as I briefly went on my last question, uh, living in Manly is great. Obviously, I've got access to rugby club, which is up the road. I've got the beach on the weekends. It's it's autumn at the moment, as I'm sure you can see outside me. It's about 25, 26 degrees, which is uh, particularly useful when you want to go outside as well. I'm not stuck in, in the doors with the rain. Um, professionally, obviously, making the move internationally is a big move and changing a lot of things. But it was quite nice being able to come over to uh, obviously the Sydney office and all of the systems etc are very similar. They're very, uh, they use Bullhorn over here as well. So it's been very useful to see helping me get up to speed quickly and there's, I feel like there's that consistency across the board. Um, obviously as well being a smaller office it's a lot easier if I have any questions I, I know who the best people in the office are to go to straight away. Um, and I know that they practice uh, they find out what works well in the Sydney office and they like to try and roll it out as training across the board, which has been very useful as well. 
actually making the move as well, it was really useful to have a point of contact here. It was Kirsten, she was available for me if I ever needed to call her, email, uh, even WhatsApp if I needed to. She'd come back as soon as, as soon as she got it, help me with moving over any questions I had, any difficulties I had. And it was just nice having that, that peace of mind, obviously, that I could have somebody to liaise with. Uh, obviously, they also do a relocation package as well, which is, is very helpful with getting stuff over here, etc. So I'd say definitely speak to your guys about it if it's something you want to do. I would say if you're considering an international grid move, do it would basically be my advice. I'd say um, most of the people that I've, I've spoken to, friends, families, colleagues, etc., have all, all turned around to me and gone, oh, it's something I'd love to do. But I can't do. It. I couldn't do it because of X, Y, and Z. There's a lot of can'ts, and I, I can't do this. I can't do that. I've got this going on. Everybody who's made the move has got exactly the same list on uh, of stuff reasons why they can't do it. But I think you're never going to relive the, the this time again. So I think if you're going to do it, you should just do it. Speak to your manager. Speak to the HR team. Look at the possibilities out there. Reach out to obviously if it's a Sydney move. Reach out to Kirsten and speak to her about what's going on in the office. She'll be completely honest with you. Um, and obviously just, just go about and do it because you're never, you're never going to live this time again and like I said I'd rather have a life full of oh wells than what ifs so that, that's the approach I tried to take.